was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew and maybe so did Good morning, happy Christmas Eve and welcome back to another weekly vlog. This week is Christmas. So yeah, last year I filmed Christmas um like as a standalone video, but because I'm weekly vlogging now I thought I'd just include it in my weekly vlog. So yeah, I'm still in my pajamas at the moment, but I have actually been up quite a while. Um finished doing like a little bit of wrapping that I needed to get done um, and now I need to get ready because um, at our church we have these things called crib services on Christmas Eve which is basically <clears throat> where it's like a service but adults act out the nativity like very very basically um, <laughs> and yeah like a lot of the community come and we sing carols and that kind of thing and we have three services because it's so popular um we just need that many services to accommodate everybody um and every year for as long as i can remember i have been an angel and usually i'm a speaking angel so like angel gabriel so i need to get ready for that i kind of wear the same thing every year like i've got a white dress um white tights i think if i can find them um and yeah just put a bit of makeup on so i don't scare everyone because i'm looking very pale today um so yeah, I need to get ready for that because the first one's at three, but we need to get there early um, and I want to get ready and then have a bit of lunch before I go as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching our little like Christmas week this week um, and I hope you had a really lovely Christmas as well. Okay, so I have done my makeup. I'm not an expert at makeup at all, but I'm quite happy with it. Um, I just thought I'd show you a couple of products that I used. I do need to put some lip product on but I'm gonna eat my lunch so I didn't see the point um, and I need to decide what I'm doing with this but apart from that yeah I'll just show you a couple of bits that I used on my face so on my eyes I used this Charlotte <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury color chameleon in champagne diamonds it says it's for blue eyes but yeah I like it it's like a gold kind of shimmery color which I thought would be quite good for being an angel and it just goes on so nicely so I might have to invest in a few more of these in different colours because I really really like that and then I've also used um, Dandelion Twinkle on my cheeks I did put some other blush on before to give it more of a pinky colour um, and then I've just popped this on top and it just gives it a little shimmer which I think is quite nice Am I supposed to smile? No, because I'm filming No, come back, I'll do, I'll do a picture in a minute I am Angel and Rebecca is Mary Smile. <laughs> so I'm home from the crib services now. I'm not feeling that brilliant. I feel quite sick and tired. I think I've probably just kind of overdone it a bit. Um, but not really doing much. Well, actually, <laughs> I tell a lie. I'm going to make some mince pies this evening, but that's pretty quick and easy because we do it with shop bought pastry. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get into my Christmas Eve pyjamas. So every year um, we all have like Christmas Eve pyjamas. I bought mine this year, but we actually bought the same ones for my two sisters. So we're all going to be matching. So I'll show you that when we get our pyjamas on. Um, I have my Christmas Eve bedding, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then, yeah, just having a quiet, quiet evening watching TV and just not doing very much really so this is my christmas bedding um usually i get it on earlier than this but just hasn't worked out like that this year doesn't go with my room whatsoever but for like you know a few weeks it really doesn't matter um and i really like it i got it from asda like a few years ago and I've, like my mum every year now has looked because she wanted one similar for her room but we've never seen anything like it which is a shame because i think it's really nice um but yeah i mean it doesn't go <laughs> with the wallpaper at all 
but we'll just we'll just ignore that for Christmas. Um, so yeah, and these are my Christmas Eve pajamas. So these were from Primark, and obviously they're Disney, so it just says we're on the nice list, and they've got like sort of tartany pajama bottoms and they're nice and fluffy so I'm going to put those on um, I am just going to actually go and open my calendar before I forget so I'll show you what's in that so just opened door 24 for Christmas Eve I'm so like got, I'm really sad because I'm going to miss like opening these doors every day um, after tomorrow because it's been really fun like seeing all the different Simpsons that are in it um, but yeah, I've just got to find somewhere to put them all now. But yeah, door 24 and the character is this little guy who is called Panchito. And he is also from the Three Caballeros. Um, he's also got like a little Mexican sombrero on. And a little bow tie and a pink jacket. So yeah, we've got three um, Mexican ones now. So we've got him and then the one from yesterday whose name escapes me and Donald had a little sombrero one as well. But everything would change from now on Yes, from this Christmas song From this Christmas song From this Christmas song Christmas we have just got back from church we went to do my brother and sister-in-law's rabbits as well so I took a little bit of footage because we got Benji out and he's just so chilled um so yeah I've done that church was fun like all the kids bring in their presents and it's quite funny like seeing what they got um these two kids brought in this massive like horse um not a real one like a toy horse but it was big enough for them to actually like sit on it and stuff so that was quite funny Rebecca brought in Hang on a minute. <laughs> Big old Olaf. Um, so yeah, we are back now, waiting for David and Emma to arrive. They haven't even left yet. They haven't even left yet apparently, so they're going to be a while. Um, 
and yeah when they get here we can open stockings and do all that kind of thing right we found some christmas quizzes on youtube that we're going to play so i think we're going to start with the christmas in uh, christmas songs introduction quiz
Quaffling unicorn blood to stay youthful, very sexy indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A quaffing, not quaffling. <laughs> quaffling? I still don't know what it means. Drinking. Drinking. Voldemort finds watching dragons bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Voldemort finds baby mandrakes. <laughs> very sexy indeed. My mum just sent me a howler. About the awkward moment when you have no idea you who. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of stuff again. <laughs> My mum just sent me a howler about the awkward moment when you have no idea who you know who is. <laughs> really? That was so unbelievably My mum just sent me a howler about having a worse love life than Aragog. <laughs> <laughs> My mum just sent me a howler about how to please your wizard's wand by Fiona Harddick. <laughs> well, uh, sloth. Snail. Snail. <laughs> African answer. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> this is a character, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I've got no idea. Is it Squirtle? Cow. <laughs> 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 just concentrate on Oh my god, this is cow. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> what is that? It's <laughs> a dog. <laughs> is it though? Dog, yeah, dog. It's on the dog. It's got oh, on it. <laughs> Is it Kipper? <laughs> is it? Um, no. I think so of dog. So you said it's a dog, now you have to tell us what kind of dog. Um, Second word. Is that Second word? Oh, it's on the bus. It's on the bus. Oh. Ooh, a coach. A dog on a bus. <laughs> a dog on a bus. Is it like the play days bus? No. I can't <laughs> this isn't helping. Oh, colour it in. <laughs> You've done it? No. Wait, let me see. Yeah. Door, <laughs> Why is it important what the bus looks like? It's not a bus. <laughs> it's a coach. Um, is it a lorry? It's a city. A truck. And sweet. Um, um, <laughs> you the no, because I don't know what else to draw. <laughs> dog in the trunk. Um, okay. Dog. Okay. Oh, dog. Okay. Oh, I'm so confused. Is it a large? What are you drawing? Something dog. Something dog. <laughs> a vehicle dog. <laughs> dog ears. I just love the arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, small yeah. dog in a bus. <laughs> uh, uh, Is uh. this really obvious? Mystery bus dog. <laughs> Mystery, Mystery dog. dog. Mystery no. truck. <laughs> Mystery. Oh, is it Scooby Doo? Yes. Oh, 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 I think 
you're too low. I'm not reach that. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. No, that's cheating, love. Smite in your face. Here it comes. Where? morning and happy boxing day i'm feeling quite shattered after yesterday i had a really really lovely christmas day um with most of my family um we also managed to facetime richard lisa and noah and noah stood up for the first time which was really lovely um like on his own obviously he stands up like pulls himself up and stuff but he was actually standing and he started like clapping and he just stood there for a minute on his own and then his face was a bit like oh what's going on and then he fell over but um yeah it was quite nice to kind of witness his sort of first unaided stand but yeah just had a really nice day with David and Emma and my mum and dad and sisters um was very very spoiled I won't go into like what I got here because I'll do a separate what I got for Christmas video but uh, yeah I've been very very lucky um and then we just had an evening of playing games which i don't think i've laughed so much in ages like my stomach hurt from laughing so much which was nice um but yeah feeling a little bit worse for her this morning not because i dropped like i only had one drink for with my lunch but just because i think the last few well few weeks have just been madness and yeah now that i've kind of stopped i'm just feeling a bit like not very well but um yeah, it's Boxing Day. My dad and my sister and my neighbour have gone down, um, I don't know what they call it, like outside our, one of our local pubs on Boxing Day, they have like the Morris men doing like a, some dancing and stuff. Um, it's like a tra just tradition ev every year. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a tra tradition every year. I can't speak. Um, so, my yeah, my dad and my sister and... Um, neighbour have gone down to that. I was kind of contemplating going because I've never been before and I just thought, I don't know, it'd be a bit of fun and like they were going to go to the pub and stuff but I just don't really feel up to it and we've got like other stuff happening the rest of the week so I don't want to kind of use all my energy trying to go out now when I need to kind of save it for the rest of the week. So I have just been having, yeah, a quiet, quiet morning um been watching happy feet on the telly which i love <laughs> um i ha was gonna say i didn't open my advent calendar yesterday my disney one so i was gonna do that now and uh yeah show you what my last simpson is so door number 25 on the calendar was goofy i thought it would be like another like more well-known character but i was trying to decide who it was um and yeah i did kind of come up with goofy so I was right, but he's dressed as a little Christmas tree. Um, it's a little bit bent at the moment because he's been squished in the calendar. But um, yeah, hopefully he'll kind of straighten out a bit. But uh, yeah, that is number 25. As I said, I think before, I'm really going to miss opening this calendar. It's been so much fun, like seeing all the different Simpsons. Um, and yeah, just like having a different one for each day. So yeah, I've been really pleased with the calendar. So thank you to my mum for... Uh, like going out of her way to get it for me bless her um so now i've got to, just got to find somewhere to put all the symptoms um i'm going to keep them in the calendar for a bit longer and then when i take the decorations down i'll kind of decide where i'm going to put them all but yeah it's been a good 25 days i think sorry there's not really going to be that much for me to film today um sometimes like at christmas because we like have we'll have like David and Emma so we had David and Emma yesterday like normally we'd probably have Richard and Lisa today but because they're away we haven't um so yeah I'm just kind of mooching out on the sofa uh watching Boxing Day TV which I'm quite happy with to be honest um and then we've got my neighbour coming round for dinner later so that'll be quite nice um, but yeah, not not really doing very much at the moment, just watching, well, the Highway Rats on at the moment and I think Trolls is going to be on, so I think I might watch that. <laughs>
snow starts to fall Then you know it's Christmas For the children above all Then you know it's Christmas Cause Santa's on his way We stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph fears his whistle And gathers all his friends Electric cutting. Shears. Uh, electric knife. Um... Uh, A4 electric cutting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lots of thin little bits. Of... Shredder. I that. <laughs> it, you can have a piercing. <laughs> no, um, I don't know where Breast. it is. Breast? No, pass, because I, I don't know what it... Oh. Um, you can go and have a party doing it. The, the, the last word can be quest. Um, or, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you have to do that, but, um, so say you've got, so you've got a remote with a little red dot. Yes. What's it called? Or like a yes. long line, like a really thin line that goes really far. Which one? Very long. <laughs> God, I like a, a long, like you're told off if you point them up to the sky when laser. We get that. Right, yeah. Morning. So after a very quiet day yesterday, today we have got like an extended family get together. We do this every year, but like different aunts and uncles. Um. So today we're going to my uncle. Like my uncle lives like quite near us so we're going to his and there'll be like some of my other like aunts and uncles and cousins and stuff there which should be really nice so I've tried to make a bit of an effort I've got um, a black pinafore on from New Look and then I've got this top which is from Next and it's got like I don't know if this is going to show up it's got like sparkly bits on it um, I didn't want to go like too fancy dress <laughs> not fancy dress but too fancy because um it's not like that kind of occasion, but I wanted to make a little bit more effort than like jeans and a jumper. So that's what I've gone for. I've got my Olivia Burton watch, which I'll show you properly in a minute. And I've put a little bit of makeup on just to try and look half decent. Um, and I'll show you a couple of the bits that I've used on my face as well. Yeah, so this is my Olivia Burton watch. I've had it for a couple of years now. It's just got like a leather pink strap and then it's got sort of gold detailing um well rose gold actually i think um and it's quite simple but i really like it and then a few of the products that i've used on my face so i've used a charlotte tilbury sorry you can see me in the reflection uh charlotte tilbury um eyeshadow palette in which one is it um oh this one is the vintage vamp i'll just open it so you can see the different colors in there so they're really pretty like there's like a reddy colour, a brown, and then like goldy, pinky colours. So I use the bottom left one, um, just a little bit of like sparkle, which I think looks quite nice. And then I've also used um, a Charlotte Tilbury mascara, which is the legendary lashes one. Um, I hadn't used it before actually, and it's come out really nice. So yeah, we'll definitely be using that again. And then I've used a little bit of Mary Luminizer highlighter um, on my cheekbones, just to kind of make them stand out a little bit. Um, I have used a few other bits and bobs but just thought I'd show you these ones. See I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be able to film today because obviously it's like a family gathering and not everyone is up for like being on YouTube but I'll try and film like some little bits if I can um, but if not I'll probably talk to you when I get home and just let you know what we got up to. Rap stuff I know give. You know it's time for Christmas for each and every one. So, as predicted, I haven't really filmed much today because we've been at my uncle's house for most of the day. 
um but yeah it was really nice there wasn't like as many of us this time um but it was quite like it meant we could like all chat and stuff and he does like really really good food um and it was all like well most of it was vegetarian he did some salmon um but the rest of it was vegetarian and was really really tasty like i've asked for the recipe for one of the dishes because it was really good it was like halloumi and butternut squash and I don't know, lots of other things, it was just really nice. Um, and then my cousin made a trifle for pudding, which was really good as well. Um, and yeah, just chatted, caught up with people, um, gave my grandma her Christmas presents, which was nice. Um, and yeah, it was just a nice family day. Driving home wasn't much fun. Um, There's like really, really thick fog. Um, and especially like some of the back roads coming home. I just, I literally couldn't see anything, which was quite scary when you're trying to drive a car and you can't even see like where the road is. Um, but we made it home in one piece, so that was good. My mum and I popped into Waitrose to get a couple of bits for tomorrow because we're going to my brother and sister-in-law's for the like evening for dinner and games and stuff. So we wanted to pick up um, a couple of bits for that and it was really, really quiet in Waitrose, which was quite nice. And they sell a few books in our Waitrose, like not nothing huge, but just on like the end of one of the aisles, there's like a little stand where they have some books and they had a couple of Christmas books. And I know it's after Christmas now, but I do love a Christmas book. So I did pick up a couple of books. So we have got this one, which is Millie Johnson, The Mother of All Christmases. Um, Sunday Times bestseller. I just read the blurb on the back and it sounded quite nice. So I've got that to read at some point. Um, and then I also picked up this one, which is Kate Ford, The Christmas Stocking and Other Stories. So it's like some short stories, which I thought would be quite nice. Um, I mean, to be fair, like I'm quite happy to read Christmas books after Christmas. <laughs> um, I really shouldn't have bought any more books. I seriously have so like... I am a book hoarder. I buy a lot of books and it takes me quite a while to read books. Um, so I've got quite a big like to be read pile in my room but I'm just a sucker for a book. If I see something on the shelf that I think looks nice I end up buying it and it ends up going on my shelf and very very gradually I get around to reading it. So yeah I didn't need any more books but I bought some. But now I am going to have a bath, I think, and wash my hair. Because I haven't done it for a few days and it needs doing. Um, and then get into my pyjamas. I don't really need any like proper dinner, but I'll probably have something. Because I need to eat something. Um, and yeah, just to have a quiet evening, I think. Um, yeah, chill out and not do very much. Good morning. I was up fairly early this morning. Um, I'm going to meet up with my friend Sarah who used to live across the road from me. Her parents still do but she's moved away. Um, but she's back for Christmas so I'm going to go to a local coffee shop with her um, for a cuppa and then we're going to go back to her parents house so I can give her and her little boy um, and her husband their Christmas presents. So yeah, should be quite nice. So I had a really nice time meeting up with my friend Sarah. Um, and her husband Ollie, we went to a local cafe and just had a hot chocolate and a really good chat, which was nice. I kind of miss like having her around. Like it's been a long time since she moved away. Um, but we've lived like opposite each other since we were quite young. Um, and like certainly when we were growing up, we were just constantly in each other's pockets all the time. She would either be over at mine or I'd be over at hers like in the summer holidays and weekends and all that kind of stuff so we've kind of grown up being around each other a lot and then um as teenagers we would like do stuff together like cinema and um like trips out and stuff like that so when she moved away um it's yeah it was quite like sad because we can't get to see each other that much like we still chat like by text and stuff pretty much most days um but it's not quite the same as sort of having someone face to face so it's really nice when she kind of comes back up and we can have like a proper proper catch up again and I get on like really well with her husband as well so 
that was nice. So yeah, we went to the cafe and then um, came back and went over to hers and gave each other sort of presents. And I gave her little boy his present, which was like a pretend lawnmower. Um, so he is two. And yeah, I gave him like a, I think it was a little tykes lawnmower. And he really seemed to like it. Like he opened it and he was like, wow. Um, which is like, you know, a good reaction for anything really. Um, and he just spent the rest of the time that I was over there, like pushing the lawnmower around the house. So yeah, and I got some lovely presents from her as well. And just had a really, really nice catch up, but I'm back now and I need to have some lunch. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do this afternoon yet. And he's gonna get some petrol in my car before we go out this evening. Um, I can't decide whether to try and do some editing or just to chill out. I don't know, that time between Christmas and New Year is always a bit like, I don't know, I kind of feel like you should just not really do anything with it apart from, you know, like seeing family and friends and just chilling out and relaxing and not doing very much. So yeah, I haven't decided yet, but first things first, I think I need to get some lunch. So I've spent the afternoon editing a weekly vlog. I've pretty much done. I just need to put a bit of music to a couple of bits and then I can export it and stuff and try and catch up with my weekly vlogs. Um, but yeah, we are heading over to David and Emma's now just for like dinner and games and just a sort of chilled out evening with them. Um, not feeling that well. I don't know, I feel quite sick. I don't think I had hot chocolate this morning and I didn't ask for soya milk, which was a big mistake. And I think that's just made me feel quite sick. Um, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't spoil the evening, but yeah, I'm gonna head over there now and hopefully it should be a good evening. They can come together. Scissors? No, to um, under a screw and things like that, or tighten a screw, not a screw, like a bolt. Spanner? Yep. Um, sorry. Oh, not a fiddle, not a viola, it's a... Cello? <laughs> no. Violin. <laughs> um, hula. Hoop. Oh. You attach it to a microphone. Oh. Okay. What? Well, uh, as a European country, everyone goes there for a pizza. France, Italy. Um, um Madeleine. Go, no, Mali, Spain. Uh, no, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, you can get um, pasties from down there. It's UK Great. based. UK based <laughs> place. Oh. Um, oh, F1 race. Uh, we went there a couple of years ago. Monica. Where is that? France. No, where? That? Grand Prix. <laughs> no, no, no. Name nice. the actual place, the first one you said. Monaco. Yeah, where? What, where is it? What's the place called? Is it? <laughs> Saturday. can't quite get my head around the fact that it's Saturday again already. Um, this time last week I was picking up Christmas trees and all sorts. Um, but yeah, today I am just doing a bit of editing on my weekly vlog because I'm trying to catch up and get like back in track with uploading. Um, and then my mum and I are going to go out to Costa for lunch because we want to get our last Black Forest hot chocolate before they kind of start taking them off the menu. Um, and then we're going to go and see the new Mary Poppins movie, so hopefully that should be quite good. But yeah, I'm trying to just do a bit of editing now before we head out. I've been a 
crap vlogger today, I'm afraid. Um, I tried to take a few little like snippets when we were out, but I mean, to be fair, like being at the cinema, there's not a huge amount that you can film. Um, but yeah, I did my editing this morning, managed to get my vlog uploaded, which is good. I'm kind of slowly catching up. Um, and then my mum and I went to our local Next, which has a Costa. So we had our Black Forest Hot Chocolates, which were very nice. Um, possibly the last one of like this season. I don't know, unless we happen to go out again, but I don't we haven't got any plans to um so yeah we did that and then had a really really quick look just at the sort of Christmassy sale bits in next because sometimes they have like good cards and like tags and things like that which sometimes I'll buy in the sale I did buy a couple of bits which um I'll show you in a minute um and then we kind of went on to the cinema because they're like really close to each other and saw Mary Poppins Returns. Yeah, it was really, really good. Um, quite, like, cheesy, I suppose. Well, I don't know, like, if I would call it cheesy necessarily, but um, I suppose, like, very similar to the first one in its kind of format. Um, it was kind of hard not to keep comparing it to the first one, but I was trying really hard to, like, see it as something separate. Um, and yeah, like, I really liked Emily Blunt in it, and, um, ugh, the guy that plays the, um, oh, I can't remember what they call themselves, the, the, like, male lead, um, in it, and having Dick Van Dyke in it as well, like, at the end was really good, um, and I like the music and everything, and, yeah, it was quite nice because they didn't have any of the same songs as the first one, but... Throughout the um, movie, you would get like little bits of just like music from the first one, which was quite a nice like link. Um, but yeah, it was really it was really good, like nice feel good Disney film. So I really enjoyed that. We also saw um, a trailer for Dumbo, which looks so good. That comes out in March, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to go and see that. There's so many good like um, live action Disney films coming out next year, or 2019, because um, there's Dumbo, what else is there? My mind's gone blank. I know there's some others, my mind's <laughs> just having a mind blank. Um, but yeah, Dumbo's looking like a good one to go and see. Um, and also the Lego Movie 2 is coming out next year, and I absolutely love the first Lego Movie. Um, so I think I might be going to see that one as well. But yeah, we really enjoyed Mary Poppins and then came home, I had like a bad headache and was not feeling like massively well. Um, so took some like medication and stuff and then I had said that I would try it and cook tonight. Now I don't cook very often at all um, because I struggle with it and yeah, it kind of, I find energy wise I find it quite difficult and um like having to like chop and lift and things like that so um I had my dad helping me um so I say I cooked well, I, I did I did like the cooking bit he just helped with like chopping stuff up and lifting and moving things um for me so I made a risotto with some of the leftover turkey and some mushrooms and peas and yeah it turned out all right like <laughs> didn't start very good i went to put the onions in the pan and i'd done it right I'd, like i'd started heating the pan i don't know why because i'd never done that like i knew like i didn't say to do it in the recipe i just did went to put like the chopped onions in the pan and splashed hot oil all over my hand so and like dropped half the onions on the floor <laughs> So yeah, it didn't start off brilliantly. This is why I don't cook because I just make mistakes and I drop things and I burn myself and it goes wrong. But anyway, it turned out all right in the end. The risotto was really nice actually and it went down well and both my parents seemed to like it. I'll put a little like overlay so you can see what it looked like. It's not like the massive, like hugely appealing like to look at, but it tasted good. Um, so yeah, I did that and uh, 
now I'm here. I'm going to get into my pyjamas and just have a quiet evening. Um, I don't know, put a bit of YouTube on or something and just not do very much. Um, so yeah, I will show you what I bought in Next. I say Next, it was actually like, our Next has got a paper chase like bit in it. I don't know what you call it, like a franchise or something. Um, so everything I bought was actually from the paper chase there. Um, but I'll show you, it's only a couple of bits. So I bought this little pack of Christmas cards, which had been reduced to £1.50. And you get eight cards in that so it was three pounds so it was half price which i didn't think was too bad and i thought they were quite cute um i then picked up these which just say wish upon a star and they've got like glittery bits and a little like raccoon thing um and they were from 350 down to 175 and you get six in there so i thought they were quite cute um and then these ones the little snowmen and like glittery bits on that just say cozy christmas and again they were 350 down to 175 and you get why oh, went this focus today uh six in there so i've got a few christmas cards for next year and then i also picked up um this little postcard which was down to 80p or was it i'm not sure if that's what it was anyway to be honest um but i thought it was quite nice anyway um of like london and father christmas going over so yeah that's all i bought i was gonna say good morning but it's not morning anymore um i have already been to church this morning um got home and just been sorting out my medication for next week um we have got richard lisa noah david and emma coming over for sort of lunch slash an early dinner I'm not quite sure when we're eating at the moment um because Richard and Lisa are back now and yeah we've got presents to give them and stuff unfortunately my mum and my sister aren't here because they've gone up to London to see a show um which was kind of booked before we knew Richard and Lisa would be coming over today um so I said I would like film them opening their presents and stuff so my mum can see them enjoying the presents hopefully um but yeah, it should be quite a nice sort of family day. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. On its way, but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin. I Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere. Just us and all. <laughs> You can see how much shopping like Grandpa wood, does. Yes. Little wooden toilet. He's getting lots of presents, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. 
This is why you have children. And stretch. And stretch. So everybody has gone home now. We've just been like clearing up and stuff. Um, they didn't open all their presents because my mum and sister weren't here. So we've kind of saved some and might go around tomorrow and kind of do the rest. Um, but yeah, it was nice to kind of see everyone and get most of us together. Um, and yeah, I'm tired now. It's been a bit exhausting. Um, trying to like tidy up and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you have enjoyed this week's Christmassy vlog. Um, I don't really know how much I filmed to be honest. So I'll, I'll kind of be interested to see when I edit it all together. But hopefully it's kind of captured the Christmassy week. Um, can't believe it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. It's kind of have mixed feelings about New Year's Eve. But I'll talk about that more tomorrow probably. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it and you would like to see more, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. And yeah, I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!